to knock only sessions for Contra. We did it again. Oh, wow. Allah, Shabbat Shalom, wow. We did it again. Drop Nation, what it do? Nagaville, where you at? Hey, for Joy World. Allah, wow. My Nagas already hitting the checkpoint, making sure we get this fence popping off. And this is the first of many projects that you're going to see, you know, built up and, you know what I mean, uh, manifested in real time. All praise to Wa and Dewada to our 500 code keeping Nagas. Check in with our GoFundMe right after Shabbat and make sure, you know, um, the Nagas is, uh, you know, protected. With a wall of protection. The fence to us is a wall of protection. That's what it symbolizes. In code. We're talking code. We're talking Shabbat. Hey, let's pop off. Exodus 31. Code keepers, where you at? Verse 12. Hawaii said to Moses. Now you speak to the children of Israel, saying, However, you must observe my Shabbat. It is a sign between me and you for your generations. For I am Hawa who makes you holy. The Shabbat is not just any day. It's not just any occurrence. It's a sign. It's a sign between you and your Creator. That it's the Creator who is your source that makes you holy or you know, that makes you righteous. It's a sign, my knocker, for all these nations to look at us and say, look at them, man, they got order. They rock together. Hey, just, just get used to giving up something for the creator. And if the creator is asking us to give a day up, <laughs> to give a sundown to sundown, a, a sundown of remembrance, a Shabbat of remembrance, a vibration, that is a sacrifice, that is afflicting your soul. That's why the Day of Atonement is all about the Shabbat, the rest. The Shabbat is a sign. The Creator says, you know, on the seventh day, to rest. Now, of course, the Creator knows that we're going to be in all these different times and laws by the time we pop up out of this uh, Ruach Tarde Mop. But we wake up, we count to seven, <laughs> and we rest on the seventh day. Whatever calendar you're on, whatever cycle you're on, we are just going to keep it, you know, straight up, simplified, so all the children can easily flow with it. It's all about doing this together. It's all about a unity. We count to seven, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. We rest on the seventh day, which is Friday sundown. Saturday sundown, 
Saturday's the seventh day. Sunday's the first day. <laughs> nice and easy. We at least are getting a flow. And, you know, once we're crystallized into our times and laws, we will already be united. Why is the Shabbat important, the Sabbath important, the original rest, the original Zion? It is a sign. Let's get it. Exodus 31, chapter 12. Awah said to Moshe, saying, Now you speak to the children of Israel, saying, However, you must observe my Sabbath. Observe, like quantum physics, what happens when you observe, you collapse the wave pattern. Because you don't want all possibilities happening at once. You don't want heaven and hell, my knight. You just want paradise. You just want heaven, right? You just want to be KTC. So you have an opportunity to observe something. And by observing it, Hawa is giving you a portal, a vortex, left to the broad natural. The code is a frequency. You can now tap into the frequency. The frequency of being the head, not the tail. We're talking Drakkar. Cool. Wow. We're talking rising. I mean rising. You get to tap into the greater light. No sickness, no disease. You get your power back. But you got a KTC. Keep the command. Keep the code. Wow. So you must observe the Shabbat, for it is a sign between me and you for your generations to know that I am Hawa. What? The sign is so that you know that the Creator exists. Now what about the Shabbat lets you know that the Creator exists? What about the Shabbat lets them know that the Creator protects you and exists within you, the frequency? These are the things you meditate on. When it says meditate on the law, the code, you got to meditate on what is it about my rest, my sign, my direct flow. Remember in Jubilees, only the two highest orders of dragons, of angels, are able to keep this Shabbat in the throne with Hawa and the children of Israel. That's how special you are. That's how special the Shabbat is. Only the two highest orders of angels can keep it in the throne room with Hawa and you. Wherever you are, wherever you at. What is it about this connection? You know that lets you know that the creator exists. That's what we meditate on. Drop nation. You shall observe collapse the wave pattern on paradise the Shabbat for it is holy to you its desecrator shall be put to death for whoever does work on it that soul shall be cut off from among its people but drop I gotta but drop we gotta I'm just saying that's how serious it is then you say why is it that serious Right, the heathen says it's just a day. You thinking like the heathen now. What? It's just a day. Is it a day or is it a sign? And if you don't give Hawa that sign, how will Hawa know the sign <laughs> that you're ready? It's a sign, Khan. It's a mark. It's a covenant. But you got to keep that sign, just like in Gotham City, they got to put that bat sign up for Batman to know it's time to pop off. It's time to start the show. But they got to put the sign out there. 
in the atmosphere, the mesosphere. I'm talking Moshe. How would they know? How would Hawa know that you ready, man? You got parents. They might put you on punishment until you ready to come out the room. <laughs> until you ready to play that game or go outside. What sign are you going to show your parent that you ready? That you get it? That you understand? So we ain't got to go through this no more. The Shabbat is a sign, my noggin. Between you and me. That when you keep the calm and that when you are resting with me, then I know <laughs> it's time to start the show. It's time to give my nagas the glow because I see the sign glowing in the mesh, mesosphere. Allah Shabbat Shalom. We count to seven, we rest on the seventh day as a sign. You count to seven differently, or the moon cycle that, moon cycle this. All right, man, just put that sign out there for a while. You put your sign, we're going to put our sign. There's going to be a gang of signs in the mesosphere. And we keep Shabbat and we rest and we afflict ourselves and we sacrifice whatever's going on. We don't spend money. We rest, no work. No work, my night. Allow. The desecrator shall be put to death, so. It's not just like, oh, you work today on the Shabbat, you're dying. You know, the desecrators, the, the trampling of this cold. You know, you no longer want to put that sign out there. You're, you know, consider you dead. You know what I mean? You don't have a sign that you're connected and protected. You know, you have no protection. You're, you're, you're like the walking dead. You're like the walking dead. You, you never put that sign, you know, back to Gotham City if they don't put that bad that bat sign up there, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're the walking dead. You know, they have no help from old good old hero Batman, right? They need a sign, come. Which your sign is the Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom. That we ready. That we ready to take action. That we ready to keep the code KTC with joy in our heart. Shout out to Peculiar Joy. We got joy in our heart. Allah Wah. Hey, we choose up around here. We all choose up for ourselves. We all got to tribe up with ourselves, man, before we can tribe up with anybody else. But we patiently wait for all my nuggets to make these choices. Let's go. We're talking that sign. We're talking that. Shabbat, you shall observe the Shabbat, for it is holy to you. Its desecrator shall be put to death, for whoever does work on it, that, sh that soul shall be cut off from among its people. For six days work may be done, and the seventh day is a day of complete rest. It's about the rest the rest you know what I mean it's not about you know anything symbolic you know what I'm saying like these hijacks they have their own Sabbaths where they oh, they don't light a match or light uh, or, or turn on the lights because you're not supposed to kindle fire and different things the kindling of the fire was about the work. The work it took separated you from the rest. Anything that separates you from the rest is an abomination on the Shabbat. If you're not putting work in and you're able to meditate and concentrate and rest and relax, that's not taken away from Shabbat. So 
lighting a match or a lighter is not the same as kindling fire literally you know putting all these stones and wood together and chopping trees and all the stuff you got to do to make that fire same thing as using a coffee maker or a microwave you know what i'm saying yeah there's fire i guess involved in the in the machine <laughs> But you're not putting that work in to make that coffee. The coffee maker is. There's nothing wrong. I don't think the coffee machine was in mind when they were breaking it down in Exodus 31, my guy. The wow. microwave, even though I don't really support microwaves because <laughs> it's very unhealthy and we get that. But, you know, we all still use them sometimes, you know what I mean? But still, you know what I'm saying? The, micro the microwave's doing the work, not you, so it's some 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 people don't like to use microwaves they do you um but if you're not doing the work then that's not what we're talking about we're talking about resting you can rest and get a pot of coffee with your coffee maker <laughs> if it's about the electricity you know or uh the fire <laughs> then you got to unplug your refrigerators you know you shouldn't have your refrigerator because that electricity is keeping your food cold you know so don't start tripping on electricity now because then you'll be in a whole nother state, you know, and that's not what Hawaii intends. It's not about jamming you up, you know. It's like, nah, I just want you to rest, man. Stop being so complicated, Israel. I want you to rest and remember me. Remember our connection. It's all about remembering Hawaii because back to uh, verse, verse 12, for it is a sign between me and you for your generations to know I am a why. That's the whole point purpose right now, right here. Simplify. But then we say, what does it mean to know that a why exists? I am a why. Your friend and your shaper just want you to know that the existence is it is reality. They want you to observe so that you can bring in your own reality that you know that your creator is real. Because if your creator ain't real, you're not real. You got no source. That these mythologies and all the things they said were crazy, but they put them in the movies and the comic books. This is all real, man. And that you're in a Ruach Tarde Mah. You're in a spell, but our vibration's real. So we ain't got to fear their billion dollar, trillion dollar budget of hijack city. We ain't got to fear that, my naga, because we real. They got all this money and stuff in hijackville. We got this. We got the treasure stored up in reality. This energy is forever. Their stuff is temporary. We are real. We got to remember that. You in the matrix. You can get unplugged and you exist in a higher, you know, clarity and truth. But they get unplugged. They're part of the simulation, man. They're goners. That's why they say we only live once. They ain't talking about us. But what's the sign so you know that I am Hawa or that Hawa is reality. Hawa exists. This is a checkpoint for you to know, just like Inception, you know, they had to spin that little thing so they know what's reality and, and what's fiction, you know what I mean? What's truth and what's fake. Our Shabbat lets us know that our reality is where we're headed, is the direction we're in. Our Shabbat lets us know that our reality is what's surrounding us. Our Shabbat connects us to our creator to get a clear-cut reality popping up that you got brothers and sisters just like you just like you like code keepers just like you that we can say shabbat shalom and not feel so alone you knowing that hawaii exists let you know that your wall of protection is real that your wall of protection exists and that's realer than a mug, baby, because you're going to need that wall. We need that wall. We're building our wall. We're doing it for joy work.
because we want to see that it's real. We all want to see it. I want to see it. Not if we can do it. I want to see the manifestation of the code in real time. We want to see a blue, purple, red fence. We all want to see it. Because then we know we can do other things and build more fences. And we can build up Nagavi for a while. The Shabbat is a sign, my name. You put that sign in the air when you truly want help. You don't want no help. You want to be the tail. You want to worry about what they're doing in the media and what they spraying on you or what needles they coming with. You want to worry about that stuff. Well, then stay, you know, uh, stay signless. You don't want to sign. You don't want to sign in the Mesos feet. <laughs> you don't want a Moshe sign. You don't want another Moshe moment popping off. You don't want no freedom from Babylon. You don't want no exodus. If you don't want no sign, you need a sign. We need a sign. Anaga, we need a sign. Our sign is our Shabbat. And Hawa said, all you got to do to put this sign out there is to close your gates. Rest. Complete rest. Everybody in your house rests. That don't mean lie down. <laughs> don't you get a no, nah, I mean, you know, be in a resting state of mind. You know, back then when we closed our gates, we had larger gates, you know what I'm saying? So it wasn't small little houses, you know, it was a community. Our gates was our community. So, you know, you want to take a walk around the block or you know what I'm saying? You wanna, you know, just you know, be in your backyard chilling, you know what I'm saying? Or, you know, just, you ain't driving around the town, the city, and the shopping mall popping off like you ain't in the club on Friday night, your gates are closed, you're resting, you're kicking back, you want to read, that's restful to you, you know what I'm saying? You want to, uh, you know, enjoy some restful, uh, you know, uh, music or however you pop off, but rest, my dog. I mean, something that simple can't be that complicated. But it is a sign, though. It's a sign that Hawa exists. That your connection with the two highest orders of dragons in the throne room with Hawa, your frame and shaper, mother and father. Allah Hawa. For our mother that frames us, man, that can put the ingredients together. They call her wisdom. And Abba, who is pleased by Amma, pleased by our mother, Proverbs chapter 8. Wisdom pleases her, pleases him. She pleases all the tribe that allows her to, you know, flow as breath. But you can't stop your own breath by causing interference. Back. Mama pleases all her children. Mama loves to please her children. But mama hates when her children ain't listening. Like any big mama would. Like any big mama should. We do it for her. Why? Because we listen. We listen to the sound. You need the fullness of the frequency, man. Not just what they've been giving us and all these, uh, you know, levels that we've had to go through. Christianity, this, that, that. We just are never given the completeness to know that the shaper and the framer are one. Wow. Her breath is security. One like any house, any true house. We keep our Shabbat, we get filled with Amah. We start to see clearly. 
Mama connects and we're filled in the vibration of Abba, whose sound is what shapes us. And that is our shaper and that is our friend. The vibration, the word of Hawa, Barashith, in the beginning, with wisdom, Barashith, with wisdom, with Ama, I created the world. Wisdom is at the very precipice, the very beginning, the very pop-offness of creation itself. With mama, <laughs> your father created the world. With mama. With mama, King Solomon fortified the kingdom. With mama. With mama. With mama. Dawi. I mean, the entire Preston. <laughs> the rising. The fortifying of the kingdoms. The clarity. To get out of jam up after jam up. The Ruach to overcome giants and the worst of the hijack that connected all the way into our indigenous truth. All that is a connection of ingredients. That's why you can't duplicate it. You can't duplicate Dawi. You can't duplicate the frequency of the Presta. It is. It is, my not. I am that I am. You can't duplicate. You can't duplicate the wave. You can't duplicate Drop Nation. We are. We are ingredients that are making a fine meal. Yeah, you can say what we say. You can try to use the words we use or try to, you know, be in the swag frequency. But you can't duplicate us. You can't duplicate me. You can't duplicate the home team. But what you can do is observe. <laughs> Verse 14. And you shall observe the Shabbat for it is holy to you. Its desecrated shall be put to death. For whoever does work on it, that soul shall be cut off from among its people. For six days, work may be done. And the seventh day is a day of complete rest. It is sacred to Hawaii. Whoever does work on the Shabbat <laughs> shall be put to death. You don't want life. You don't want no sign, right? The children of Israel shall observe the Sabbath to make the Sabbath an eternal covenant. Eternal covenant for their generations between me and the children of Israel. It is a sign forever that in a six day period, Hawah made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, he rested and he was refreshed. But Manag, if you ain't never putting that sign up there, you ain't never getting refreshed. You ain't never getting tuned up from above the barrier in the throne of Hawa. You ain't part of that tune-up flow. Those seraphim singing holy, holy to Hawa. That frequency, you ain't even feeling none of that. You're not refreshed. And you definitely can't be dripping in that mem sauce. <laughs> Let's pop off, Manag. We right here. We steady, water, surfing the wave, and our Tanakh only sessions of Kandra. Shabbat Shalom to the Zan Zan ones, man, the ones keeping that Zan, keeping that rest. All Ahab Barukah to you, the Wada to the tribe. Allow.
500 cold keeping knockers. Where you at? That one die. For Joy World, my man. For Nagaville, my man. All praise of God. Keep the code.